my name is Matteo and I'm here to present to you uh, Out Is You, the Global Coming Out project. Uh, now I'd like to ask you, uh, how many of you know what coming out is and what does it mean? Okay, so most of you know it, obviously, but it's worth repeating. It's uh, the process by which uh, you talk about your sexual preferences. And why you do that is because your sexual preferences are not something that is in direct display and you have to uh, tell someone, it doesn't show on you, it's, like, it's not like you have a mohawk and everybody can see. And this process of coming out has been really invaluable for the, uh, the lesbian, the gay, the bisexual, the trans and the queer in the world. And this has proven to be a great, powerful tool for social change. But what happens in our world? What happens to coming out in the digital world? What happens in social networks right now? We tend to try to show our smiling face, our best face on social networks. But sometimes we have something intimate that we want to talk about. But what is the language that we can use to express something intimate? And is these, are these intimate uh, aspects just limited to uh, the LGBT issues? I'm talking here to a community uh, that is formed of many, many subcultures and uh, many people that have slightly different ways of life. I mean the geeks and the, uh, and the nerds and how could they also benefit from a platform that allows you to come out in the digital world. But let's go back to society for a second. Uh, I live in Berlin, I'm privileged uh, by the fact that I live in Berlin. Berlin is a very open city. And if you're in Berlin in June, uh, please don't miss the gay pride. Uh, we even have two gay pride parades. And in fact, if you're here in June and you want to attend the gay pride, don't go to the big parade. There is a smaller parade called the Transgeniale CSD. And while I was there this year, I saw the most astounding, amazing sign. And it said, fight heteronormativity. And together with that, which is okay, like fight the fact that society just takes everything for granted. It said, start to fight also the homonormativity or the transnormativity or the queer normativity. And this, well, this is a powerful, powerful concept to arrive to a society that is non-normative, that doesn't take things for granted. And I think we need a new language to arrive to this kind of new society, and we can start from something that I've called Out As You, and uh, the web address is out.as slash you. Out As You is a new project, we don't know really what it is, what I know is that there is a visualization, it's a fluid visualization, it's not a badge, it's not a label, uh, it's mostly for sure not something that uh, you could stitch to closing or something like that. But it's something that talks about you uh, in, a, in a plastic way. And a tool set. A tool set because we need a lot of tools if we uh, are in the process of coming out, of discovering who we are, where we want to go, how to communicate with our peers, and how even to just celebrate coming out. What I would like to build is a counter, because counting in this case is really, really important. I'm very bad at maths, but I imagine that a big counter saying this number of people have come out in this way, in this country, can be very, very powerful and a very, very powerful driver for change. And what I strive to launch in, in the next months is the possibility to, to come out as all these um, with all these specific labels and what I would like to see is a process that from these opens up to the whole world and opens up to uh, a crowdsourcing of what are the other intimate aspects that we need a platform to talk about. To do this uh, I think that in terms of a, of a startup, this is how I know how to think and how I know um, how I know how to develop a project. And this startup uh, for me is, is very special. First of all, because I have a tremendous, incredible team. Uh, these are the keywords that came out from the 
from our uh, from our collective bios, and we have a very ambitious goal. Uh, in 10 years, a foundation that is able to produce um, a change in society, 10% of the worldwide population. Um, we would like to have 10% of the worldwide population use our platform, and we would like to find. 10 countries where after 10 years we're not needed anymore and we can step out and concentrate on the other countries that need, uh, that are more resistant to change and more resistant to openness. So what I'd like from you is just some feedback, if you have some money, and to join us. This is, these are all my contacts, the, the web address is out.as slash you. My Twitter username is at Matteo C with a C at the end. And my email address is mateoc at mateoc.com. Thank you very much.